Johnny Tapia, a boxing legend who passed away in 2012. His gravesite is right here at the San Jose de Armillo Cemetery. But Tuesday night, that gravesite was vandalized. That same night, his son was shot. It's devastating. Johnny Tapia's widow, Teresa Tapia, talking about learning her son had been shot and her husband's grave vandalized only hours apart. Tuesday night, her son had to be rushed to the hospital after being shot near Jefferson. No arrests have been made in the case. What's worse is she says her son is in the National Guard and was getting ready for active duty. But doctors tell her the bullet is too close to his femoral artery to remove. He's stable. He's out of the hospital. And um, we just don't know if this is going to end his military career. We don't know. Before her son was even out of the hospital, she found out this had happened. Pictures burned and glass candles smashed at the often visited gravesite of her late husband. They come and they leave stuff for Johnny. I find letters and rosaries, pictures. People write me from all over the world and this is the place they come to see him. One of the pictures damaged is of his mother, the woman he saw murdered when he was just eight years old and served as his inspiration in the boxing ring. Johnny, you know, his whole life he lived for others, his mom, for me, for our children. He didn't really care what you did to him, but he always cared about the people he loved. Teresa Tapia tells me that the outpouring of support that she's received from people has been amazing. She also tells me that the people responsible need to be brought to justice, both for the shooting and the vandalism. Reporting in the South Valley, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News.